I'm Shovel and welcome to my channel. Actually, I'm Great Witch Shelby. And welcome to Empires. Today we have a lot to get done. It's about time we build a proper house. This, this little shack here, that is not gonna do anymore for all three of us. So it's time to move out into our own house to put all of our things, and I have a lot of things. You might not be able to tell because I've been staying in this little house, but I'm a bit of a hoarder, and so I need some more space for my stuff. I also have to make a couple of visits to my friends because there's some things that I need that their kingdoms have. And I think uh, what we should start with is going to Joey's and returning his trident. I know it was a bad thing to take it, but let's see if we can't make it any better. I spruced it up, I enchanted it, it's got a whole new look. I hope he loves it, and I hope he forgives me. Hello? Miss Witch! Hello! Um... Hi. Listen, uh, I have to admit something to you that I'm not very proud of, but... Sausage already when told you me. Said... Oh, what? You have a <gasps> creeper charger somehow? Oh, oh, yeah, so, um, I figured if I just borrowed your trident really quickly and proved that I was strong enough to get the head, that you wouldn't be too mad about it, um... You and I have it here. <gasps> Why does it look like that? So I enchanted it a little bit extra so that anytime you throw it, it comes back to you because it is now binded to the king of the ocean. It is yours. I will never steal it again. God of the sea. Miss Witch, mm -hmm. you have earned my full respect. Stealing <gasps> from a pirate really? is the ultimate oh. way of earning respect. And you have earned it from me. Oh. Oh, well, this is not how I saw this going. Yes, I'm so proud of you. What a brave witch you oh, are. I figured you would appreciate that it will now return to you anytime you throw it so you'll never lose it. And it'll always repair itself. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Because you are the god of this. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> That's awesome. You'll never lose it again. And if someone steals it, maybe you can call it back to you like Thor's hammer. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you, Miss Witch. You're welcome. Well, I'm glad you're not mad. No, not at but, all. But uh, I will I will not do it again. Well, um, thanks for bringing this back and thanks for earning my respect. You're officially an ally of mine. <gasps> Yay! Oh, I gotta steal from other people if this is how you become an ally. Thank you very much, Pirate Joe. Enjoy your new trident, King of the Sea. It's time to build a real house. I mean, let's just start <laughs> because I'm gonna put this off for as long as possible. And I don't know why it's so hard for me. You ever have just a thing and you'll do anything except for the thing that you need to do. My axe. Not again. I don't wanna read it. <laughs> I don't wanna. Never mind. I'm ending the stream. Goodbye. We're not playing Minecraft today. <laughs> We're not playing anymore. <laughs> Man, what's, what's soon? What? My birthday? Please tell me there's not more. <gasps> oh man, oh man. I didn't see it. I didn't see it, my eyes are closed. I didn't see a thing. Okay, that one's mine. Welcome to the Evermore. All right, we cleared out um, an area for us to start building the house. I actually don't know where to put the door. Okay, those are the front steps. We did it, we started it. <laughs> we did, we began the build. The voices are gonna be so mad about how much I'm taking away. Listen, I the, the goal is to always put it back though. I'm taking away for now to build a house, but I'm gonna put them back in between. So if anyone's worried about how much mangrove I'm taking away and is sad about how empty it's starting to get, after my builds are placed inside, I'll put the mangroves all back where they fit appropriately. <sighs> this is a beefy house. <laughs> it's not even at its widest yet. I'm just gonna put that there. That feels right. You just kinda have to feel it out. That looks good. That's the whole front. That's all the soul sand, soul soil. Let's go clear out the trees in the back. I know it looks dumb, but then the hat's gonna go on top. I have to get rid of that one. That one's just, I hate him. <laughs> I just hate this leg, really. Get out of here. Who gave you permission to be this tall? For what? Oh, hello. Hello. Wait, oh, hello. <laughs> is, this, is this the the house to hold your hat? Yeah, my big hat. Oh, uh, nice, nice, nice. I love it. I love it. Is it. Are you sure it's big enough? You might, you might need What's to it? like double it. Yeah. If you think yeah, so, I, I guess I'll you, double you it. You could probably bend it through the corners and squeeze it inside. Yeah, that could. That I'll just could drape work. it over the sides. It should. I'll make it yeah. work. I'll let it lay mm -hmm. into the mangrove trees. It could trees. be the roof. It could be the roof of the house. 
You might be on to something, Fwip. Well, well, I saw your message uh, that you needed some of these. So, <laughs> oh my God. At least it holds you over for now. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I have exactly zero iron left and I need to put lanterns everywhere. Oh, it's got to yeah. glow. Oh, lanterns. They're so expensive. That's all so I need expensive. iron for at this point. Is this all just from clearing out? <laughs> this is from clearing out. If you want to take all those roots. And then these oh, are my materials yeah. for the house. All right. Well, I don't want to bug you too long. I want to drop off the iron. I got so a big hat to build. Struggling too long. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I'll catch you later. Thank you for the iron. Goodbye. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Let me sleep. <gasps> there, I may not sleep. Ah. Get out of my house. I don't have windows <laughs> is the problem. I think I'm just going to go around and do like a trim and then bring it up in whatever ways needs to happen. And after many, 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 many hours of building, we finally got a little hat shape coming along, and then we drooped it into a tree, and then we have a house. All right, everybody. After a lot of work, I finally finished my whole first big house with plenty of room for me and my things, and even my toad. And just as it's getting dark, thankfully, I love it. It's a house fit for a great witch, I think. And there's so much floor space. I've got lots of ideas for what to do down here. I've already got myself all comfy and cozy and settled in my bedroom. Uh, don't, don't mind the mess. And I'm gonna light this place up with more candles. We need to make a little visit to our friend Jem. Now that we have wings, we can go fly over to her and get some honeycomb from her kingdom and then some string from Catherine's and then I'll light this place up with the most magical floating candles you've ever seen. And I have one more level to my house where I will be storing everything. Uh, but it is a bit of a mess, a bit of a hard space to work with, but I think this whole attic space is pretty cool. I had to put some shroom lights so that monsters don't spawn and some carpets because it's still pretty dark. But this is where I'll be storing everything for a while until I probably just build an outdoor shed for specifically storing. But this room could be anything I want later. I might even move my enchantment table up here and move it out of the potion brewing shop. So enchanting and storing up here until I have a proper witch tower and a proper shed sounds like a good idea. I might even store in here forever. So maybe... <gasps> Please do not tell me my house is haunted. Hello? <gasps> Who is leaving these here? I know it's not a ghost. Oh, oh, this is, um, this is the crawl space underneath my house. People aren't supposed to know about that, though. Well, the more of these I get, the more I get to use in the woods behind my house, and then I'll use it as an alarm system for when the intruder comes around. It's worth a try. Shelby. Oh, hello. Hi, Um, not that anything's wrong, but could you come help me with something? Mm -hmm. That sounds like something's wrong. Uh, well, okay, well, see, things keep happening in Glimmer Grove that look like a curse, but like it's totally Is not, it you know? Is it a fog? No, it's like the oh. life is getting sucked out of things. Oh. But like, it's not, it's fine. Like, it's fine. If it was cursed uh -huh. though, could you help me fix it? I could definitely try. That would be great. Okay, let's go. So do you see this over here? Oh, I um, see it. This uh, this this stuff Whoa. is kind of like everywhere on this side of the kingdom, and it's it's doing this. It's it's sucking the color and the life it out looks of things. Like it's burnt and dead. Yeah, and then that's that's not all. Um, I also well, right over here. Um, my horse just kind of split Whoa. as well. Is it okay? It's got its skeleton I, exposed. I know. I think it's okay. I have a few potions I can try. See okay. if it'll um make things go back to normal. Let's okay. see if this does anything. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Should we try the land? All right. Yeah, let's try the land. Oh, okay. I okay. might just be tougher than I thought. Ah. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. Well. <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. I might need to to recheck the uh the witch encyclopedia for potions. That should. Let me just. Huh? Nope. Nothing. 
Hmm. Well, that's that is weird. Well, I'm okay. sorry, nothing happened. That's uh, okay. I'll keep trying to make up potions that maybe can help grow the okay. land back. Yeah, but um, until then, it is everything's fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, You'll definitely yeah, not sure cursed, it's fine. right? Like, how fast is it spreading? Mm, not terribly fast. Um, it, it was over here, and then I came back, and now it's over here. So, like, it is definitely moving. We'll uh, we'll try to get ahead of it. We'll figure something out, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully, you don't turn into half skeleton. Oh, please, no, don't say that. No, <laughs> no I'm gonna stand over on this side. I'm staying way over here. <laughs> yeah, please be careful. I don't want you to turn into a skeleton. Oh. All right, well, I'll start brewing potions, and I hope I can bring something that helps. Thank you. I'll I'll just I'll be here. Well, goodbye. Good luck. Bye. All right. Well, now that we have a house, it's time to do some interior decorating. And I'm gonna just spruce up the place as best as I know how. Just kind of dump all my things inside and just put them places. And I'll show you when I'm done. But I need to make a visit to the bee princess. I need honeycomb for candles because what's a witch without any candles? Ooh. Oh man, I brought the rain with me. That was an accident. Wow. Hello? Hello? Oh, um, I was in the area and I heard there is a princess with bees around here. Oh, yeah, 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 that's me, that's me. Uh, who, who are you? You seem to have brought the rain. I did and I'm sorry. I come from the mangrove. It's pretty wet over there, uh, but I'm a witch. Anytime you need any magic or potions or spells, you can come witch? to me. A good one oh, though. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. You're a great witch. You, you do magic? I am great, actually. It's funny that you already knew that. I do magic. I'm pretty good at it. Well, yeah. I've got, I've got lots of honeycomb and stuff if you're if you're wanting it. Oh, that's perfect. So that's what Dawn is for because, you know, we do bees and flowers and stuff. Yeah. Oh, perfect. I need honeycomb because I need lots of candles for my magic. This is my farm area and the bees stay upstairs. But if you look in that chest right there, there's tons of honeycomb. Whoa. Wow, thank you so much. In return, I did bring a lot of mud that comes from my land. Oh. And some potions. Yeah. If you ever have a zombie problem, those should cure them up right back into people. That's epic, you're the best witch I've ever met. Oh geez, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. Here, take some carrots too. Ooh, thank you. Really good for you, your eyes, you need you need carrots. They, they're good for you. Oh, this is fantastic, because I was starting to need glasses. It's getting a little hard to see out there. It gets yeah, foggy. Yeah, the well, thank you so much. <laughs> I love your kingdom. Maybe I'll see you again soon. Visit the mangrove anytime. It is a bit confusing and people get lost, but give me a shout. Okay. Or sure. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. a two on the horn if you have one of those. Oh, a bard stole mine, but I'm going to try oh. to get it back and then I'll be able to. I'm going to keep an eye out for this thief bard then. <laughs> All right, goodbye. Okay, now that we have honeycomb, with just a little bit of string, we'll be able to really decorate this place in candles. Uh, Tortoise likes it in here. I did move him inside. He was a little crammed with the villager. Now that villager has a whole house to himself. And I feel like this place is really coming along. Let me give you the full tour. And just imagine candles floating everywhere. Because as soon as I have candles, I'm gonna cast a spell on them so that they float and it'll really light this place up. But here we have the entryway, I have our little banner, I have a spare broom in case I need to sweep. I've got my shelves of potions, my big cauldron. Here I have my little study corner, and here's the kitchen. Upstairs is my bedroom. Uh, I did actually originally have Tortoise up here, but he fell down the trap door. There's more windows. He probably wants to look outside and my old wand because I did have to craft up a new one Because that one was breaking. It's fine. It's it's all good. It's all the same. It's also a little messy Don't worry about that. I've just been studying and then finally I put all of my storage and my enchanting and my smelting up here because there was so much space in the top of my house and it felt like things were getting crammed in my potion shop and now that I've cleared out the upstairs of my potion shop, I have so much more room, I can grow my nether wart. Now this should really keep us in business. And the more people that hear about our potions, the more customers we should have. Cause our potions can pretty much do anything. I grew ears. You ever do that? You ever grow someone's ears? I didn't think so. Our home is really coming along. And I'm making sure I really keep a lot of the mangrove trees and mud around. I just kind of have to move them out of the way. If I really could cast a spell to get them to stand up and walk and just move a little bit farther out, I totally would. And hey, maybe I can. You also might have noticed this portal out in the distance. Let me show you what this is. We've set up 
portals on the ceiling of the nether. That way is Joey's. That way is sausages. And if I go this way, this is the carpet path to Catherine's. So I'm just stopping over to go trade her for some string with some mud. She told me that I can find her shop in the purple roofed building by the docks. These are the docks. Wow, these are really cute ships. I wonder if Joey has seen these. I bet he'd love this. I think this must be the place. <gasps> Whoa. I need to find me one of these guys. Hello. Is this the string? <gasps> Perfect. I'm just gonna take one stack and I'll leave her a couple stacks of mud. I'm gonna save this mud for trading with Jimmy for some gunpowder. I'm a little nervous around him though. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, goodbye, it's nice to meet you. Don't come out. Monster bounty, slaying after sunset. Oh. Wasn't me. And really quick while we're going between portals, I'm gonna take a quick visit into our other portal to grab a couple more blaze rods from my farm. Here is my fortress where I have been killing blazes. Uh. Whoa, what's with all the green? Um, you know, I must have dropped a mangrove sapling out of my pocket and then this happened. I didn't even know that was possible. And here is my backup enchanting area. Also this room, uh, I made this for trying to spawn more monsters in. I still have to do more spawn proofing. And then I put a little circle in the middle for uh, summoning. No demons, nothing like that, nothing nothing demonic, just, just summoning regular monsters. I know this looks a lot more dark and spooky, I promise it's totally cool. It honestly doesn't even work anyway, so nothing to worry about. Okay, I've got all the candles placed. Let's try to use a little bit of magic on these. Here we go. <gasps> Whoa, <gasps> it worked. Now one more time, let's light them. Wow, it, it actually worked. This is so magical. Now I just gotta do it with the rest of the house. And I put a little candle in this window instead of the lantern. <gasps> you know what, pretty soon, we're gonna need to get you a friend. I think we might need to make a frog sanctuary. Let's gather all the frogs. We're frog witch. Well, that's gonna be it for today's episode. Let me know what you think down in the comments of my house and how I decorated it. I'll leave the texture pack in the description that I used for those paintings in the back, as well as the build that I used. Leave a like if you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Push me. Uh, I had to come back to say uh, that I completely redid the floor. Let me know what you think. I think it looks good.